Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to another episode about Pokemon Ultra Sun Nuzlocke. And as you guys can see, we are sitting here at sunset, I guess, which is kind of convenient timing. And we're going to go run around and I guess continue our journey in the Alola region. And now we're on Hair Hair Island, which should be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's run down towards the rest of the uh, shore. Oh, sorry, the rest of the town and uh, see what's going on. Let's see what Howard wants to say. Whoa, look, there's like a whole mess of Pukamuku. Oh, they look so, they look like they're sleeping so nice and peaceful that I don't want to wake them up. Good, because I'm running this way anyway, because this story will force me to. Let's go, hey, hey, city. Wait, this is not Hey, Hey, Island. Did I just call it Hey, Hey, Island? It's a color island. We're in Hey, Hey, City. My bad, I just realized that I made the, the most horrendous mistake. How slow-mo is how moving right now? Did you guys see that? He moved really slowly. Hey, Chum and How! There, there you are. How was your trip on those man time? No problem. Like I said in the last episode, it was better than I expected. That's what I like to hear, yeah. Tackle your island challenge with that same attitude. Wait, so man time's even faster than all, that old boat of yours, Professor? The professor's sailboat is well. It has seen better days. Nebby can agree. Still haven't managed to find a shirt that goes with your lab coat, hmm, Kukui? Look who it is. It's Olivia. I told you that you're going to scare off strangers looking like that. Nebby, back in the bag. Don't sweat it, Lily. Was it only Mallow with her the last time as well in Sun and Moon? I can't remember, to be honest. Why, hello there. Nice to meet you. I'm Olivia. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm Mallow, one of the captains here. I was on my way to see who was pulling into port and ran into Mallow here while she was on, out on a delivery. Yep, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients. Wait, what? My chance, well, not my chance, my trial will be a chance for all the fine ingredients that make up your team to shine. That's what she meant, I was so bamboozled. Look at me, with that blank smile. Especially you two, your Pokemon look ready to cook with gas. It's funny that she says that, when I'm pretty certain when you actually do her trial and you cook stuff, you just kind of, it's not really gas, it's literally just fire. Which doesn't really use gas, it just... It's just a fire on, like, sticks. I don't know. Anyway. Mallow isn't the only trial captain here. On a Kyla Island, of course. So, what's your plan now? Yep, that's up to these kids. It's their island challenge after all. Yeah, I suppose so. Okay, then. Enjoy your time on your island challenge, kids. Along with your Pokemon. I'll be waiting for my chance to face you in battle when the time comes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you've got. Let's go, Mallow. I like how they just coincidentally throw Mallow at us, but honestly, no reason. I guess it kind of makes her a little bit more of an important character than um, Lana and Kiawe, but still, it's a bit random. But I don't think she needs to be a more important character, but hey, whatever. I'm not going to complain. I like Mallow. I think she's a cool character. I'm sure she wanted to come see that you made it here all right, but she'll never admit it to you, huh? That's Olivia for you. She's a kind kahuna deep down. I like how they had to highlight kahuna in red, so you, just, so you knew that she was the kahuna. In case it wasn't obvious by the many times that we had been told that before. There are three... The tree. Okay. There are three trials here on Akala Island. If you two decide you want to take on the trial straight away, head up Route 4 there and keep on going until you get to Paniol the town. Shoots, I know where I'm going first, and that's straight to the Pokemon Center. I wonder what kind of malasada they make on Akala, eh? Maybe I'll see about some shopping of my own. And I should find out about the ruins for Nebby's sake too. Good old Lily, doing things for other people, and by people I mean Pokemon, but Pokemon are people too, kinda in a way. Let's talk to some random strangers, see what they have to say. Hmm, so maybe the Pokemon people brought back from Kanto have increased here in Alola. Okay, cool. That was one person, that's- a oh, hang on a second. Did I have a Pokemon that needed a name change? I don't think so. I don't think so, because the name rate is in this building, if you guys are confused as to why I stopped for a second. Let's just keep going. There's no, no time to waste, or no point wasting time, rather. Should we buy new clothes? Nah, I think we're fine. Oh, chum. I mean, oh, chum. 
two very different ways to say oh and chum in the same sentence. You looking for new clothes? Well, yes, I was doing that. Look how slow Nebby's moving. Why is it not smooth at all? It's so strange. Yes, well, yes, I was doing that. I was doing that too, but this little fellow will hardly sit still. I think Nebby might be interested in visiting the ruins of life. Apparently they house the sacred guardian of Akala, a creature called Tapu Lele. Look at how slowly Nebby's moving. Maybe maybe this DS just cannot handle. Cannot deal. I wonder if you'd like to come to the ru ruins with us when... Wait, what? <laughs> I, I like read vertically. I was like... Pff, pff, and then read the line. I wonder... I wondered if you'd like to come with us when we go to visit the ruins. I mean, little Nebby here seemed to like you quite a lot, quite a bit, chum. Why wouldn't Nebby? Look at me, I'm amazing. Look at my flower print shirt. It looks awesome. I'll be at the Tide Song Hotel if you decide you want to come. I'm supposed to be meeting someone there, something very important to me. I wonder who that is. It might be like Wick or maybe even Gladian. That would be surprising. Actually, it could be Gladian. Because, as I'm sure you guys know, when you head up Route 4, you bump into Gladian making his way down Route 4. So maybe he is doing that, but maybe they don't actually kind of interact with each other outside. Like, she, like he didn't know that she stole Nebby, and she, he didn't... I don't think he knew that she was even, um, away from, um, the Ether Foundation. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. I'll be alright. I can see the building from here, after all. Even I shouldn't be able to lose my way, I think. So slow, Nebby, speed up! Give me more frames, Pokemon, give it to me! And you, I'll have you stay in your bag, mister. He's like, yeah, nah, not, not happening. If you want, Nebby, you can get in my Pokeball right now and join the squad. See? Do that. That's exactly what I'm trying to do right now as I crouch down and look at Nebby. See, I'm a Pokemon Whisperer. I was like, Nebby, just, just get in the damn bag. And he did it. Easy, easy as pie. I heard that there's a group of terrible people who try to steal Pokemon. A group called Team Skull. We may... You, we, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we need to be careful if we want to escape the notice of such a collection of villains. Isn't that right, chum? Very right. At the same time, they should be careful to avoid me, the future champion of Alola. Alright. There's a Pokemon sitting here. Don't think I need to go into it, so we're just going to keep going along our way, and I believe we're about to get into a biff. You see those legs in the top corner of the screen? Yeah, those legs. They're about to fight us. Damn it. I was wondering if I could sneak down the route, but I don't know why I thought that was going to be possible. Stop right there! I assume that was, um... What is her name? Ha ha ha, we didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing your island challenge. I'm Dexio. And my name's Cena, a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I like how the music just stops to make them seem a little bit more awkward than they need to be. Where's your superhero outfits, guys? Come on, keep up. We're here seeing the sides in Alola. It's quite, it's, it's, blah, 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 it's quite, I can't read today. It's quite traditional. Of, I, it's, I still said quite or quiet. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's unique tradition of island challenges is pretty fascinating. I've got to say. Oh, I've got an idea. You and Dexio should battle. I like how everyone's like, no. I guess he is kind of disputing that. And why should we do that? Though I might as well test my skills. Is that all right with you? Yes, I think I'm ready. Then I'll let my partners go wild. I'm pretty certain one of the differences between Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, or just Sun and Moon in general, is that in one game you battle Dexio, and in another game you battle Cena. So obviously Sun you battle Dexio, and Moon you battle Cena. Which is interesting, because he has like kind of um, brownish blonde hair, which is like closer to the color of the sun. I mean, you can see that it's, it's close to an orangey color. <clears throat> and Cena's hair is pretty much purple, which is like, well... That's that. Yo, let's go. We have type advantage. Struggle bug. Destroy this thing. Look at that. Absolutely. Wait, didn't that? Wasn't that super effective? What type is is Mime, Mime Junior? Ah, oh, bim bamboozle. Uh, let's go on a dopey and go for some water. Do you, yeah, bite, don't you? Yeah, let's go for this guy and go for some bites. Get some mad damage in. Plus, I want to use fish a little bit more. In fact, I have to remember that on the on the episode I'm going to evolve fish, I need to make sure I record at the same time as like right now. Otherwise, fish won't be able to, well, you know, evolve. Because it needs to be five, between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. when I record in order for, for fish to evolve. Otherwise, it won't. What type is this thing? Is it part fairy type? Does fairy resist bug? That seems kind of accurate. So maybe they, maybe it does. 
Go for a rock throw and destroy it, this thing's soul. Can we can we end it? We do end it. Get destroyed, Dexio. Get destroyed. Alright, who's next? Espion. Can you like calm down, bro? That's a bit spook. Yo, who can actually handle this thing? I guess I guess this guy can water gun up. Let's do it. Let's put it to sleep, actually. We'll get Dopey to come in here and be the utmost useful. Because we can tank the um the psychic attacks, because I mean what? It's only level 15, but even if it's level 15, it's still the scariest thing in the world. And I'm expecting a psychic. You know, side beam. Just as scary. Alright. That is resisted damage. Can we not? Am I ballsy enough to switch out? That's the question. No, we're going for water gun. Another side beam. As long as it's not a crit, we should have absolutely... Actually, even a crit wouldn't have been a problem, to be honest. I'm very close to being... Useless. Okay. Uh, who wants to come in now? I think... Okay, let's have a look at our Pokemon and their stats, because we gotta be we got to be really careful. So your summary gives you 21 special defense, and you have 18, which means Rockruff can take one, which is obviously good information. You can take way more than one, and you have Ominous Wind. I completely forgot, so we're going to go into you. I completely forgot this man had Ominous Wind. Oliver coming through, and of course our special defense is sky high, because we're actually an evolved Pokemon. And we're about to get to level 19 too, so it's perfectly, uh, perfectly timed. Actually, in fact, I kind of have to get into a battle to evolve now because, you know, EXP share. Which I'm sure some of you guys remember from the last episode I was... Was it last episode? It was some episode where I was like, I'm triggered and I turned it off. Give me the boost. Nope, okay. Okay, if it stays asleep for two turns, we'll be in really good shape. No, okay, see, look, it's, it's so difficult for the game to just kind of be nice to me. In a, in a Wi-Fi battle, I'll be asleep for three turns, like, every single time. But as soon as I put someone to sleep, not nah, one turn, they wake up, done. But at least it, I wasn't a one-shot, so we're fine. We don't have to complain. We get 461 experience. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. We're gonna, we want to... We want to learn the move Foresight. Uh, let's keep all moves. I kind of like they skip that whole step of, are you sure you, you want to skip this move? I kind of like that. At the same time, it's kind of annoying that you can't just press B now to skip it. Because before you can be like, B, A, done. Look at this man laugh as he got his body rocked by my Pokemon. He got absolutely blown back. It's, look, her hair's purple. She's literally the moon trainer. That's what I would expect from a trainer doing the island challenge. I felt the bond between you and your Pokemon. I feel like I've been able to get a glimpse of the island challenge. Let me heal your Pokemon as thanks. Did the color of the sky just change real quick? Did you guys see that? It just suddenly got a little bit darker. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. This battle reminded me of us in the past and a group of five young trainers. Take this as a little token of our new friendship. What does he give us again? A full restore. Was it here that they gave us a thing to help you find um, Zygarde? I believe they did. I believe it was right here. Maybe training yourself up a bit on Route 4 will help you understand your Pokemon even better. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Okay, now. Now that we've gotten past these two pairs of legs... Because that's why I kind of addressed them as when we first saw them. Um, I think it's time for us to continue talking about my whole, like, who's Lily going to meet up with theory. Because, like I was saying, I guess throughout the series or throughout the, the game, I, I'm pretty sure Gladian does not know that Lily has... Oh, we can do Roto Lotto. Gladian does know that Lily has Cosmog. In fact, um, at the same, at the, in the same way as Sun and Moon, uh, when he finds out that she has it, um, Cosmog, he's very surprised. So when he finds out she has Cosmog, I don't think I said that right the first time. Um, so it makes you think that, oh, maybe he doesn't even know that she's kind of around. But at the same time, he did know that she was around and that Team Skull was looking for her and blah, blah, blah. Um, I apologize if there's any kind of spoilers. I'm just trying to, I'm, anything that I'm saying right now is in relevance to Sun and Moon anyway. Like, I'm not going to talk about this game's unique spoilers, but just what happens in Sun and Moon. Let's battle this dude real quick. Let's get into, wait! This is our first encounter in Route 4. Right? I'm not even paying enough attention to this game to realize when I'm getting first encounters. I feel like if I channeled my my thoughts and my soul into a good encounter, we could have gone something better. But I'll take an Inkly buff. I will take it. It can evolve into something very, very nice. Let's go for the Stun Spore to paralyze it. So it can be a little bit of an easier catch. Uh, but yeah, so it's pretty likely that she was going to meet up with some, you know, someone important to her who could have been um, Gladian. And she might have been like, Gladian ran away before me. Um, I want to go, I want to meet up with him and maybe he can help me save Cosmog and that's probably the whole point or the whole reason she wants to meet him. At least in my opinion, that's what I think could be the case. 
and then um, and obviously that's where she was going to tell him about Cosmog and outside of that he had no idea I apologize but yeah outside of that he probably had no idea which we know that from uh, later in the game when he's all like oh and by later in the game I mean you know, Sun and Moon he's like oh no hang on a second Lily has Cosmog what oh my goodness I um at the same time it could be Wick but I don't really see any reason to believe it's Wick so I, there's no reason to again believe it's Wick so I think I think it's Gladian because like I said Gladian is right we run into him um, further up the route and he could be quote unquote making his way down the route to meet up with Lily I think it's a viable theory and I believe it is this route that we run into him, not Route 5. I think it is this route. Or is it Route 5? I've been bamboozled. It could be Route 5. So he's a little bit further away than I thought, I think. I can't remember. Oh no, he isn't here because our little event on this route is running into How at, at Paniola Ranch or Paniola Town. And then it's Route 5. Running. I'm so confused. It doesn't matter. We're going to move on. We caught Igglybuff, the balloon Pokemon. It's always practicing its singing because it wants to improve. Even when it's asleep, it sings in its dreams. That's cute. Now, what am I going to name this guy? Jigglypuff. What did I, what did I name my last... I had, I had a Jigglypuff once in a Let's Play. And I believe I named it Jessica for some reason. What did I name it? I think I named it Taylor Swift, actually. I think I named it Taylor Swift. I believe we did. So we're going to nickname this one Taylor Swift as well. As well. That's not how you spell Taylor Swift. I think it's Taylor. We'll just call her Taylor. 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 Well, it's a boy. But I guess Taylor works for a boy's name, right? Okay, who's a male? Okay, who's a male singer that comes to mind? I can't think of anything right now. Why is it so difficult? I do not know who to pick. Male singer. Universe. Brain. Help me out. I'm blanking. Okay, we're going to go with Sam for Sam Smith. All right, I'm doing it. It's the first thing that comes to mind. Let's do it, Sam. Sam the Eagly Buff, who hopefully will one day become an Eagly... No, not Eagly. A Wiggly Tough. Uh, we'll send him to the boss for now. We don't want to add him to the party. Let him hang around. And let's continue on our way up Route 4 and hopefully find out if um if Gladian is, is here or the next route. I believe it is the next route. I'm trying to think, and I'm pretty certain it is the next route where we find Gladian. Uh, so that's obviously something that's relatively important, I think. You were challenged by Bellhop Jody. With one Pokemon. I feel like there's a lot of battles in this game where the opponent has one Pokemon. i got to say, the scenery is amazing at dusk. Oh my goodness. I should play this game at dusk more often. The two hours in the day where the game looks absolutely beautiful? Hell yeah. Struggle Bug, let's go. Can we one-shot? I doubt it. I have... Yeah. Yo! Oh my goodness! Man, your attack rise is not gonna matter because you're gonna get blown back by this next struggle bug. Get destroyed! I can't believe they did so much damage. Buzzard is amazing. I can't wait till Buzzard evolves. I have no idea. I have no idea what level Buzzard evolves at, but I'd love to get it before the next trial. That would be very helpful. Not that I think Buzzard's gonna be useful in the next trial. I mean, every Pokemon can be useful. We'll see how it goes. Regardless, let's run around here. I believe there's some kind of item that's worth picking up. Is there anything? Nope. We're going to get an encounter. What should be like a much better Pokemon than Eaglybuff? Like, watch it. Pikipek. That'd be a bit interesting catching a Pikipek so late in the game. In fact, I'm surprised we haven't encountered one thus far in the game. Yo, did you see that? It literally just turned to nighttime. You saw that, right? Or did it not? I don't know. I swear it just, it just turned to like the night sky in that one panel. Now I'm confused because it still looks like um, the same time as before. We gotta switch out of here. Or we can run away. I think we can run away. We did get away. Perfect. Okay. I don't want to deal with no Peaky Peck. It's level 11. It's going to give me like next to no experience. Let's keep going on our journey. And let's, let's uh, grab this item here, which is going to be a tiny mushroom. So a bit of cash. Not bad. I gotta say, I'm, a, I'm less excited on cash now that I have um, the... What do you call it? You know these winding routes sometimes have little secret spots that are that are easy to overlook. I'm not surprised. Give me the replacement of the Zygote cell that's here. A super potion. I'll take it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, now that I have the um, the Komodo outfit in my other game, I, I couldn't care less about money. Then again, I was never going to save up for the Komodo outfit in this game. There's no point, in my opinion. This man has a pair of Premier Balls. I would have been so tilted if this guy had 
um, you know, came in that animation holding two premier, tr blah, 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 holding two premier balls, and they only had one Pokemon. And that would have bothered me. All right, let's switch out of here. Um, let's go into. I don't want to use Nicole, man, because I know Nicole isn't. It's modest nature which bothers me so much. Let's go into Rock Rock. Go for some. What are they called? Rock throws. And before I get like power whipped or something, which would be absolutely insane. Amnesia. It's not gonna matter, bro. I'm not gonna attack you on the special side. But I guess it's a fair play given that uh, Cutie Fly was out before. Let's go for the rock throw. Maybe we can go for the fire fan and get the. Fish. I'm pretty sure it's 95% accurate, bro. 95. 90, never mind, I apologize. You, you, you did your best. I need to get Rock Tomb, actually. That'll be helpful. It's more accurate and does more damage and slows my opponent down. Rock Tomb's a really good move in comparison to weaker Rock type moves, actually. Wow. It's pretty surprising. Let's go for another one. If I miss another one in this battle, I will I'll lose my mind. I should miss one in 10, not one in 5. Defense curl. This thing has two defense raising moves. Wow. Surprising. And by two defense, I mean you know, special defense and defense. Can we get a crit anyway? Nope. Okay, I guess not. Tackle. Take another seven damage. Look at that. Predicted. It's not like it happened before. Go for... No, it's not. Rock, rock Throw needs to hit to kill. Like, we need to use Rock Throw. And Munchlax goes down. What's his next Pokemon? Show me something juicy that Rockruff can kill as well. Buzzick is level 15. I really feel like Switch Training is so important right now. Okay, Bagel, let's stay in here. And then we'll switch out into Cutie Fly. And you honestly might go for a headbutt or something dangerous, so let's go for an attack first. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very afraid of this Pokemon. In fact, if it has, um, or if it has Dragon Rage, we could be in trouble. I doubt it, but if it does, we have to, we have to go to someone safe. I don't think Bagon gets Dragon Rage, period. So it shouldn't have it. Dragon Breath. That's fine. Actually, wait, Dragon Rage is still a Dragon type move, which means, um, Bozard can switch in on it and just attack because we can't get affected by Dragon Rage at all. That's fine, and we should hopefully get hit by another Dragon Breath, meaning that uh, bite. I got predicted. I I got predicted, but it's still neutral. Sorry, it's still resisted. Let's go for the Fairy Wind. Should do a decent amount of damage in before Headbutt Okos me. I have a strange feeling that it will. When did Buzzard get so powerful? I'm in awe of how much damage we're doing now. On other occasions, it's, we're doing no damage. Maybe it's because we're not going up against any kind of like boss tra uh, trainer. Because I think we mainly use Buzzard in that battle against um, Dexio in the battle against uh, the Kahuna. So I guess they're usually pretty, you know, powerful for their level. Maybe that makes sense. But we blew back that Fromantis of... Is it Fromantis? I think so. And that Bagon had no chance. I gotta say, I love this little bug. It's amazing. Give me this item. Revive. Useless. Where is that? Where is that path? Oh, I think it's just the hotel. Yeah, it's just the hotel area. I was gonna say, I was really confused. Let me pass. Foolish wild Pokemon. Picky Pack, hello. Okay. I'm gonna call it right now. I'm gonna click run. It's gonna wing attack me and I'm gonna die. I'm glad I was wrong. Because if that happened... As amazing as it would be on a clip for the death montage, I'm not interested in making clips for the death montage. I would rather have my Pokemon survive. I rely on apps for traveling recommendations. I'm sure you're not the only one, dude. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there. I like that this game kind of acknowledges the existence of technology. Um, I know it was kind of <laughs> just a really quick segue. Um, but yeah, in other games, you tend to not really pay attention to the fact that people have phones and such. But this game is like, bruh. My phone helps me out, and, even, and then there's the uh, tourist girls who are taking selfies at the end of every battle. They're, those 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 girls obviously exist as well. Let's go for fish. You can see my team's pretty heavily um, weighted to one side. That's fine. I kind of want buzzard, fish, and bite. He's dodging, he's not dodging, he's avoiding my resistance. That's pretty impressive, man. You're a good trainer. Is your name Joey, by any chance? I should have read that. I'm curious now. Focus energy. All right. If we hit this rock throw, we have nothing to fear. If we miss this rock throw, we could get crit. And I'll be sad. But we should have nothing to fear. Look at that. Rock rough has eyes. We missed one, but we're not going to miss any more, any more for the rest of the episode. Because that's... That's science. So close to a level. I feel like we're still really far away from level 25. And that really, that really bothers me. I want to be level 25. Like, right now. I want to evolve right now. 
Anyway, we'll calm down. We'll heal up. Uh, you need to be restored. This is probably the slowest way to go about restoring my Pokemon. And I apologize for being inefficient. But I am who I am. And I can't change that. I guess it wasn't that inefficient. But I could have just gone into the bag and sorted it out that way. Um, let's keep Nicole out front. Sorry, not Nicole. Let's keep Buzzard out front. She's still not a higher level than Dopey and Pico. Uh, sorry, he is still not a higher level than Dopey and Pico. So um, we're not doing too bad. Do we want to visit the Pikachu Valley? I believe we might as well have a look in there. There might be something we can grab. I lost my... I just, I'm the, I'm just a sightseer. Always looking for a boy. I'm, I'm by, I apologize for the, the fumbles of this episode's speech because it's been all over the place. You were challenged by Sightseer Perdita. That's a name I've never heard before. Very cool name, though. I like it. She has one Pokemon to Meowth. I didn't check if that guy's name was Joey. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed now. I was genuinely curious as to what the guy, what name that guy had. Because he had a Rattata. And what if he was like young to Joey or grown up? I mean, he might have been. He probably was in the previous game too, and I may not have realized that. Or maybe I did realize and I've just forgotten. Who knows? Let's get a fish out here and start throwing some rocks at this Meowth as well. Fake out. Get predicted. I wasn't going to attack you anyway. Because we're going to fake out. So switching was the right... Oh, no! Why am I farming money? I don't understand. Why am I farming money? Let's go for a rock though. I just... This, this bite should not kill me by any means. Because for a bite. Flinch. Are you kidding me? Is this some kind of game to you, woman? I mean, it technically is a game to me, but still. I'm getting I'm getting blown back by a Meowth at level 14. Can we, like, not? I can't even flinch me, man. What is that? What is that? Flinch me again, I dare you. If you do, Decidueye is coming out, and I mean it. I will literally evolve. I will literally evolve my Pokemon to blow you back. You want to see a bite? I'll show you a bite. This is dangerous. Actually, what's with the flinches when I'm on low HP? I don't understand. That could have been dangerous. I'm glad that a flinch is all I got, because I'm pretty certain that a crit is more likely to happen than a flinch. Is that the case? What's the base crit chance, actually? Isn't it like 12%? Or is that... Am I crazy? I feel like it's 12%, which is pretty high. It's a little bit more likely than an Ice Beam Freeze. Why did I go for Rock Throw? Wasting my PP. You couldn't have gone for Growl earlier. Completely pointless move. Instead, you had to keep blowing me back with those bites. There you go. Now it's destroyed. Only in a Nuzlocke can a battle like this actually be difficult. Only in a Nuzlocke. Or maybe only on this channel, because maybe everyone else is actually good at the game. Who knows? We get to level 18 with 3 plus to our speed. That's awesome. Odus. He's the second Pokemon that wanted to learn Otis. No, it was Otis Loot and then something else you saw. Something, something to identify, but it wasn't Oda based. It was Foresight. That's the one. That's the one. We defeated Sightseer Perdita. See, look, she's taking a selfie. I just lost in battle too. Always looking for a way to win. I'm confused. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know, but regardless, let's jump into Pikachu Valley because we've got very little time left in this episode, so we might as well kind of take a detour into this beautiful place. And we did that quiz when we talked to the lady. Maybe we'll even wear the Pikachu hat. That'd be fun. Look at all the Pikachu. I wish you could go up there. That'd be so cool. Maybe you can. Imagine if you can walk out of that cave back there. That'd be amazing. But I don't think you can. I feel like I've explored everything. Hello, Pikachu. Yo, it's your boy, Trial Guide. Welcome to Pikachu Valley. That's what the Pikachu are saying anyway. You get this special Pikachu themed present to celebrate your first visit to Pikachu Valley. I believe that's the uh, photo border, like the, yeah, the frame for your uh, photos. Check out your photos in your album with that, and it'll always be Pikachu Valley in your heart. I like that. I can respect that. Now this is the tilting thing. Ready? I wonder how many times you can run into this into this thing and never get allowed into. I've never seen three run out at the same time. Now, that's new to me. There's another set of three. I don't I don't understand this. Can I actually will they actually like appear and like fill up the place? That'd be kinda of wild. Okay, let's stop. This is pointless. Let's go talk to the lady and do the Pikachu quiz. Because I'm sure you guys want to see that. Try to become a real Pikachu professor. Do you want to take our Pikachu quiz? I sure do. Oh my god, let me do it. There are five questions in total. Try to get every single one right. 
So here we go, question number one. What part of a Pikachu's body can you tell whether it's male or female? The tail. Question number two. What are the particular parts of Pikachu's cheeks called? Electric sacks. What do you need to evolve Pikachu into a Raichu? A thunderstone. Question number four. How is shiny, Pichu, shiny Pikachu different from more common Pikachu specimen? Specimen. Its color is darker, right? Its, it's coloring is see-through. Could you imagine Pikachu on a stealth mission, legitimately invisible? That'd be kind of crazy. That'd be awesome. I'd like that. I want, a, I want an invisible Pikachu. The last question. Pikachu can go... Blah, blah, blah. Pikachu can evolve from... That's right, Pichu. But who was the first person to discover the existence of Pichu? Now... My guess, I know what the answer is, right? But my initial impression when I, when I did this question was Professor Elm because he researched eggs, and that is, of course, correct. And that's the end of our quiz. Time to announce the results. The total number of correct answers was 5 out of 5. You got them all right. That's electrifying. You're a true Pikachu master. Here's a little gift to help you celebrate acing the quiz for the first time. We received a Pikachu shirt and cap. Will we put it on? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z or Pika, Pika, Pika Ball Z. Is that, is that a weird thing to say? I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of Pikachu Valley. I just wanted to kind, of, to kind of take a quick look around, grab that hat and that shirt for no reason whatsoever. And I... Look, they're sitting side by side now. It's a mystery to, to whose recommendation it is, but Pikachu Valley is apparently really nice. There's a mystery as to whose recommendation it is. Okay. Maybe Ash recommended it. Is this Youngster Joey and he like got... No, not Ash. It would be, it would be um, Red, I guess, because Red actually exists in this universe. Royal Travelers in life, always looking for something or not or other. Makes sense. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. I apologize for me kind of just fumbling over my words several times in this episode. I don't know. Maybe I've just been recording too much today. Who knows what's happening? But regardless, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.